All right, guys, before I get started here, I'm going to show you what I'm using. I got a bottle of water, spray bottle, 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 bottle. Why can't I not say that? Bottle of water. Um, and uh, that's so when I'm working with the chinking, it doesn't dry up, kind of spray it. I got a little foam brush. That way I can kind of work with it. I have this grout bag to help me squeeze it in. I've got some gloves to keep it off my hands. And this is what we're using. It's permachink. Uh, this stuff is expensive, so you don't want to waste it. I've done more than half of the wall so far. I learned a lot from it. Um, it's pretty easy to work with. It's just you gotta, it's like a woman. You just gotta give it time and just really finesse it. You know, you don't want to rush. You don't want to treat it bad. You gotta just treat it just right. So, um, yeah, if you are interested in this, it's just called Permachink. Um, it's about $250 per five gallon bucket. Um, so far, I think I've only gone down about this far and I've done almost all, all the way to the top of the windows. So it goes a good distance as long as you don't have too thick of a gap to do. So I'm gonna quit talking. I'm gonna do what I can um, until the food's ready and then we'll eat. So hopefully this will go pretty good. All right, she got that chicken all cooked up. She loading them. Damn. That's right. That's looking good. So how's this little uh, cook station working out? Man, this is nice. Should we build another thing so you actually have more room? Or is Maybe, it, yeah, I guess because... Since it's got both burners there? Yeah. So, see? Sometimes you got to use it to kind of figure it out. Yeah. So maybe we'll end up building something over here. Uh, maybe an L shape or more that way. Or move this and then have more cook space or prep space here. Move this somewhere else. We'll figure it out. But so far, I mean, I think you're doing awesome. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That looks so good. I don't even have the burners on right now. And it's still cooking good? Yeah. That's awesome. Delicious. Make my crispy long bite. That's how it's hotter. I guess. Yeah, that one's yours because it has more in it. Oh, I like it crispy though. I know you do. <laughs> that needs a little bit more. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Can we cut it in the middle? This is how you tell if it's good, right here. Just the, uh... Oh, oh, oh. She's hot! That looks delicious. Let's see. Get this one. That's pretty good. Where are you learning these skills from, huh? From loving quesadillas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's looking how it should be looking. Ooh, y'all hear that? That sounds delish. Perfect. You guys do not get them. It's still hot. Cheers. It is hot. I need this so bad. All right, guys, so I changed clothes. I got my swim trunks and a cutoff. It is freaking hot. Uh, Danielle worked, so she's going to sleep. She's going to get a nap in. That's what it's like dating a nurse. Uh, they work super hard at night, so they got to rest a lot during the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this chinking stuff before I put it on, kind of show you the consistency, all that kind of stuff, and then uh, she's going to take a nap while I work. I think that's fair. All right, guys, as you can tell, this is kind of the... Uh consistency of it right here the only way I can describe it it's kind of like caulking or silicone with sand in it it's the only way I can really describe it so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my bag and get going it's been a while since I've done this but I'm gonna use gloves this time I don't think I used them last time if I did I think they were the cheap little blue gloves so I ain't really trying to do a lot of cleanup it's the easiest way to do it then you just get your bag it's got the little tip at the end and uh, kind of just fold it in a little bit on top so you can get down in there a lot easier because you want it down in there as much as you can so you don't have to squeeze too much and get it all inside so just I don't know where my other thing is but 
This is going to take a minute, but I'll get it in there. And just fill it up as much as you can. To where it's not too heavy. Um, this stuff kind of... It doesn't stink. It kind of smells like the new spray paint. You know new spray paint doesn't really stink anymore? It's kind of what it smells like. But... Um, I haven't done this in a while, but from what I remember, this is so tedious. It takes forever. Um, what I did before is I used um, wood to put behind the gaps because there was a lot to fill in. I'm going to try just filling it in. I've got so many buckets of this that uh, we're just going to go with it and see how much it uses. See if I could do it this way. So I got some in there. I kind of work it to the bottom about that much in there let's get busy see how far this goes probably not very far always make sure to put the lid on it doesn't have to be super tight but you don't want it to dry out and then I'm gonna go ahead and do that as much as I can and then come back with a spray bottle and a little sponge clean it up all right guys we're gonna work on this part right here first I got my zoom lens on so I'm a little far away you can probably barely hear me but I'm going to do this and then come up to this line and we'll do these two rows at a time as we move down. So right here I still have a little spacer, but I'm not going to do that for the rest. So let's see how well this works. It's like frosting a huge cake. Alright, so that's as far as the spacer went. Now from here to here, it's nothing but this. It's going to take a lot of it. And it's kind of hard to squeeze this bag. kind of forgot how much of a pain in the butt it is. I should have bought the gun that did this. It's going to take forever. Just trying to show y'all in real time right now before I get into the rest of this, but man, it's so tedious. I forgot how tedious it was. It's like milking a freaking cow. All right, I guess I'll put a little bit right here. Get under here a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my little sponge brush, kind of even that out. So with this, I just spray a little bit of water, kind of make it easy to handle. Let's see if we can't start to smooth that out. <laughs> Oh, I forgot how much this sucks.
This sucks. Alright guys, I screwed up. This sucks. Um, I got it a little smoother right here. It's getting a little better. But, um, as you guys can tell, it just gets all over these boards. I forgot that's how bad it was. Um, so, I'm going to have to, for sure, put boards behind here. As you can tell, right here is where the spacer was. Up here, there is not. This is a lot smoother and better. Um, and it used a lot. So, I'm not going to keep moving forward and putting a lot on there. There ain't no way. I'm going to screw it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down the bottom and start sanding the cedar and make it look new again and see if I can't get off the stuff that's on there, that's down there. Hopefully, um, today won't be a total loss and uh, everything going wrong. But as of right now, geez, I made a mess. All right, so I'm going to start down here. And as you can tell, this is all messed up. It's dry, but it's messed up. Um, Remember when I had goats and the goats would sit up here? Well, those are uh, hoof prints. Literally goat hoof prints. I'm going to have to fix that. But um, you can tell right here it's dried and it looks really good. It's really flat. But there are like overlap marks here and there. Uh, the wood is super gray because of the rain. The goats used to get up here and rub on it get it all dirty. So I'm going to see if I can't clean this up. Fix today's... Um, mistakes where I thought I was gonna get a lot of work done with the chinking but I couldn't uh, I have less than 60 days to finish this house so I'm just gonna keep going and I think the only way to salvage this right now uh, because I don't know what wood I'm gonna use to put in the gaps I'm just gonna sand this and hopefully fingers crossed I didn't waste a whole day Alright, so this is definitely getting better, but it's going to take forever, so I'm going to get the belt sander see if that will help anymore. looks way better than this. I mean, this is gray, gray, gray. Dirty, dirty. And it's already looking way better. And then, of course, I'll do more on there, but if this was like the clear coat, look at that. That's what I want it to look like. It's gonna look booming and nice. All right guys, so as you can tell, that's a pain in the butt. Um, I did mess up on the chinking. I need to go back and do the uh, spacers with the wood, but for now, I am pleased with the way it looks um, already. That's not even clear coated, but there's a huge difference between the sanded and non-sanded. So now I'm gonna spray water on it to show you guys what it looked like when it's clear coated, the whole side compared to this side. It should be a huge difference.
All right, so as you can tell, that's a pretty big difference from that side to this side. It's just water, but I did spray in the middle. I'll even show you guys here in a second. I'll spray on both sides to show how much of a difference it is. Uh, taking that top layer off, I mean, it is gray to red, and that's not even like soaked in good if I did clear coat and stuff. So huge, huge difference. Check that out. I mean, look at that, guys. That's night and day, night and day, night and day. I mean, that's what it was before, and that's what it is now, and that's not even completely finished, so huge difference. All right, guys, so I got a little bit of this uh, chinking left in the bag. So what I'm going to do is, instead of waiting to finish the whole thing, I'm going to go ahead and finish this top one right here all the way across and then i'm going to go ahead and trim up the windows get that looking nice and if i can trim the corners up try to make it look as finished as i can up here in the front because that'd be one thing knocked off my list and then later i can just come and finish the top up there finish all that so if i can get from here down finished i'd be so happy All right guys, so I finished that. I don't really need to do right here because there's gonna be a board over it. So what I'm gonna do is trim these windows out. So I'm gonna measure this real quick. Should be 61 inches. So I'm gonna cut four of those, do them across, and then do top and bottom. Window be trimmed up. Alright guys, this is what it looks like with it trimmed and everything. Still, this side is not sanded, that side sanded. I'm going to wet it and show you the difference again. That half versus this half. Alright guys, as you could tell, Look at that huge difference from one side to the other. That's what it'll look like with a clear coat and finished. That's what it looks like to begin with. All right, so Danielle's been asleep this whole time. I'm gonna go get her, but also I'm gonna get a fire going so we could cook up some stuff. I'm hungry, it's been a long day, but I can't wait to see her reaction and see what she thinks of this. Good morning, sleepy hits. Good morning. All right, so you know what I was gonna do. Yeah. Come look at what I did. You did something different? Look at what I did. You framed it? I did. And then I sanded it. Half nice. of it. A little bit different color, huh? Yeah, here, I gotta step back and see it. Look at all the puppies. <laughs> A little bit different colors, huh? Yeah, looks good. All right, guys, I'm very disappointed I didn't get to finish up there. So, I'm gonna finish it. I'm just gonna bust through, get it done. I'm not gonna stop until that's done up there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and strip some boards, finish that, and hopefully, fingers crossed, get this whole front done.